Hi guys, now that you know how to make a sofrito, which is for me the base of a good fideuá, let's see how to make a mind-blowing fideuá. Fideuá? What the f*** is fideuá? This is fideuá. Look how moist and nice it is. Come with me to the Costa Brava to get one of the main ingredients for our fideuá. You've seen how fresh is the cuttlefish, so you will need cuttlefish. You will need as well for this fideuá noodles, this kind of noodles, see, very thin. Here I have 12 prawns, some olive oil and this is sofrito you need to watch my recipe to do this this is a big secret for flavor in fideuá and paella so go watch my video to do sofrito and of course you will need some fish stock which i have here what is this <gasps> what is this nina look look a cuttlefish uh. Is it good? Is it good product? Is it fresh? So the first thing we will do is to roast to get some color, to give some color to these noodles because if you cook them like this um, they easily overcooked but if you roast them if you give, give them that brown nice color with some olive oil they won't overcooked that's one of the secrets and that's one of the reasons why fideuá the noodles are brown heat your paella and use a good amount of olive oil this is 400 grams of noodles meanwhile let's just clean our beautiful cuttlefish our two beautiful cuttlefish and I'm gonna show you what do we use and what we don't okay so let's let's start by this small one what 
I do is just to take take out this with the help of a scissor. There you go. Then you just open it in the middle. Take the bone. There's a big bone here. You can see. See. We don't use that. We discard that. And here comes a very important thing I want to show you. Um, this you don't use it there's only one thing you use of the guts this brown thing so I'm gonna wash it because it has some ink and some sand I'm going to wash it and you'll see this would be the stomach of the cuttlefish and is what gives a lovely flavor to our fideuwa or to our paella We keep this and look how is our noodles. Look, look the color they're getting. That is perfect. That is what we want. That's gonna give better flavor and that's what's going to keep our noodles uh, without uh, overcooking. That's what's gonna keep them al dente with a good texture so let's keep cleaning our cuttlefish here we have one of the sides going to wash it because it has a lot of sand There you go. This is what we will use. See? So once you got your noodles like this, this beautiful golden brown, just keep them apart. I'll use this plate. So they don't keep cooking and they don't get burned on your pan, on your paella. Okay, this is very important. Don't let them in the same paella because with the remaining heat, they still getting uh, cooked. So we don't want that. We we want this color, and that's enough. So take them out. There you go. And we have our paella ready to cook our cuttlefish. I will tell you when to use these beautiful noodles, you see? All right, our next movement after cleaning our cuttlefish is gonna be um, some olive oil in your paella. And we are cooking our cuttlefish here. 
So, um, while you do this, bring your stock, your fish stock, to boil. Because we are gonna use it soon. So, cuttlefish in. And a high heat, remember, high heat. The smell remembers me a lot of the octopus smell when you cook it. It is very similar, the cuttlefish. Well, I think it's from the same family. It smells great. So we will cook our cuttlefish for about five minutes, like this. Because the rest... The rest of the cooking is gonna be with the noodles and the prawns and the stock, the fish stock and everything. So you don't need to fully cook it now. It's just like to to seal it and and to release some of the juice. You see these juices? This is gonna be all in our fidewa and it's gonna give a lot of flavor. Beautiful flavor. Now it's time to add this beautiful preparation here which is sofrito. If you don't know how to do it, go watch my video on how to make this sofrito. This is a special preparation that gives a lot of flavor and color to your fideuá or to your paella. And I use, normally I use a big spoon like this for each person. So this one is for four persons, so four spoons. And let's say a, a little bit more that I have here. So we take advantage of everything, don't leave anything. If you can, use your spatula, as I always say. So don't leave anything. Don't leave anything. And let's mix our cuttlefish with our sofrito. And this starts looking like another thing. This starts looking like a fideuwa already. Look. Look at the color. Okay. Great. Next step. We are not doing cuts here in, on the video. So you see all like it is done. Our noodles. In. Noodles in. All of them. Don't leave a single noodle. See? And mix. This is... This has to be done very quick. Because we've already cooked fried the noodle the noodles so they don't need to cook too much you just need to do this mix the sofrito and the cuttlefish with the noodles so what's next right now your broth your fish broth so cover always leave something in case you need and this was one liter of fish stock. That was one liter for for the 400 grams of noodles. So one liter of stock, 400 grams of noodles. Now what we do? Now what we do is to try the saltiness of our stock. You go and try the saltiness. If you need some more, just add some salt. And now comes the good part. We add our prawns. One. 
two, three, four, and on. So remember at that here in your fidewa, you could add clams, you could add mussels, or any any seafood. It's gonna be okay with the flavor of your fidewa or your uh, seafood paella. Okay, this is what I have today. I had only cuttlefish and and prawns. Uh, that's enough for flavor. If you have a good fish stock, that's enough. So now I'm going to share with you a little secret. Let me try the saltiness. Mm, it's perfect. I'm gonna share with you a little secret, a good secret, to give to enhance the flavor of your fidewa. And that is using my one of my favorite sauces which is alioli if you don't know how to do an alioli go to watch my recipe on alioli and here what we do is just to get like one one spoon like this full spoon and do it like this go and mix it with all of our fidewa and this is gonna give your fidewa a touch of creaminess and a garlic flavor that you will love. You will really, really love. But what do we do now? There we go. It's already mixed. Perfect. I'm going to try it again. Mmm. Wow. This is heaven. This is heaven on earth. A piece of heaven on earth. Once the broth has reduced your noodles has absorbed some of the broth and you can see them it's time to finish your fidewa in the oven so let's get our fidewa into the oven for about 10 minutes at 200 celsius degrees beautiful bye See you soon. And here we are after 10 minutes of cooking at 200 degrees. Look at that. And one thing that we normally do here in Spain is to add some alioli on the side and mix it. Mix like this a little bit. And there you go. That's our fidewa. Mm. This is fidewa.